Hello everyone, I'm Queenie from Hive. Today I have David, the founder of Hive with us. So David, we use the cloud storage every day to store our pictures, movies and data. Indeed Queenie, we store our precious information that makes up our memories and create our legacies in these data centers. But the problem with data centers is that they are centralized, vulnerable and inefficient. But with Hive, it's different. Can you tell us more about how all these files and information are being stored in a distributed cloud like Hive? I'm glad you asked this question, Queenie. I prepared a demonstration with my Legos. Wow. Yes. <laughs> but before we go into Hive, let's see how it works in a centralized data center. So we have six computers here and their owners. With your help, we're going to upload all these memories and precious files into the cloud. So let's upload them. This container represents the centralized cloud. With all the memories. All the memories and our legacy. So it's all sound and good while everything works. But we all know that there are software bugs, power outages, mm. and network issues. And when any of these occur, well, you are going to lose your data center. That's the vulnerability of this. Then can you explain to us how it works in Hive and why is it better? Absolutely. Here we have a set with six computers and their respective users. They are sharing their available hard drive and computing resources with the other users to create the distributed cloud Hive. So here I have my file, which I'm going to upload into the distributed cloud. So I'll take this file and move this here to give some space. And the first thing we do is that we divide this file into smaller chunks. Here only three, but there are many more than that. After this, we compress each of these chunks to save space, so there is no waste. But we are all about privacy, data protection, and obviously confidentiality of your data. And we use the encryption keys that are in each of these computers to which no one but you has access to, to encrypt those chunks so that nobody can read them. After that, we place this information across the network in a way to make sure that it's always available when you need it. And to do that properly, we create smaller fragments, which call them data shards. So I need your help to distribute that and you are my distribution algorithm. Okay. Would you like some? Yes, please. I'll take a few here. And voila, now that file has been properly encrypted and distributed across Hive. Then what happens if some of these computers are offline? You will, and actually we expect some of these computers to go offline. This is the reason why a distributed cloud is far more efficient. We only use the available resources when they are available, and we don't have to have everything available 24 by 7. So let me show you how it works. It's even more magical yes, than the previous one. So why don't we assume that this computer and this computer are offline? Okay. okay. They are no longer available. All this data there, we can't access it anymore. And let's go and grab a few of these fragments that we uploaded from the other computers. And to be precise, we need only half of those fragments. And uh, you can see here is that I put a special Lego piece. This pink piece actually contains a special information that enables us to reconstruct the data that is in other computers back to its original form. Doing the same magic as we've done for downloading, we arrived to the 50% of the data sets from which, like the Sodoku example I have given you earlier on, we can reconstruct the data to its original form and put it back into your computer. Mm, that's a really resilient solution. It indeed. Thank you, David, for the excellent illustration. So now you know that there's a smarter way to store your memories and critical documents on Hive, which is affordable, safe, and always available. Great points, Queenie. Join us at hivenet.com. <laughs>